In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. Brothers and sisters, welcome to this Mass. This weekend we are keeping World Missions Day, and the Church throughout the world is encouraged to consider the work of missionaries, to pray for them, and to donate to the work of Missio, which built up the church in uh, new churches in countries which don't have the resources of their own. But first, brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, and the Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Kyrie eleison. Christe eleison. Kyrie eleison. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, grant that we may always conform our will to yours and serve your majesty in sincerity of heart. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord to his anointed, to Cyrus, whom he has taken by his right hand, to subdue nations before him, and strip the loins of kings, to force gateways before him, that their gates be closed no more. It is for the sake of my servant Jacob, of Israel, my chosen one, that I have called you by your name, conferring a title, though you do not know me. I am the Lord, the unrivaled, there is no other God besides me. Though you do not know me, I arm you, that men may know from the rising to the setting of the sun, that apart from me, all is nothing. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The responsorial psalm, give the Lord glory and power. Give the Lord glory and power. Oh, sing a new song to the Lord. Sing to the Lord all the earth. Tell among the nations his glory and his wonders among all the peoples. Give the Lord glory and power. The Lord is great and worthy of praise, to be feared above all gods. The gods of the heathens are naught. It was the Lord who made the heavens. Give the Lord glory and power. <coughs> Give the Lord, you families of peoples, Give the Lord glory and power. Give the Lord the glory of his name. 
bring an offering and enter his courts. Give, Give the Lord, Lord glory and power. power. Worship the Lord in his temple, O, o earth, tremble before him. Proclaim to the nations, God is king. He will judge the peoples in fairness. Give, Give the Lord, Lord, Lord glory, glory and power. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Thessalonians. From Paul, Silvanus and Timothy to the church in Thessalonica, which is in God the Father and the Lord Jesus Christ, wishing you grace and peace from God the Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. We always mention you in our prayers and thank God for you all and constantly remember before God our Father you have shown your faith in action, worked for love and persevered through hope in our Lord Jesus Christ. We know, brothers, that God loves you and that you have been chosen because when we brought the good news to you, it came to you not only as words, but as power and as the Holy Spirit and as utter conviction. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Your word is truth, O Lord. Consecrate us in the truth. Hallelujah. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. The Pharisees went away to work out between them how to trap Jesus in what he said. And they sent their disciples to him together with the Herodians to say, Master, we know that you are an honest man and teach the way of God in an honest way and that you are not afraid of anyone because a man's rank means nothing to you. Tell us your opinion then. Is it permissible to pay taxes to Caesar or not? But Jesus was aware of their malice and replied, You hypocrites, why do you set this trap for me? Let me see the money you pay the tax with. They handed him a denarius. And he said, Whose head is this? Whose name? Caesar's, they replied. He then said to them, Very well, give back to Caesar what belongs to Caesar, and to God what belongs to God. The Gospel of the Lord. Please take home a copy of the homily today. It links the readings with our theme of today, which is World Missions Sunday. I only want to mention one small thing, and that's about the coin that Jesus was handed. Um, two sides, obviously, to every coin. On one side, as we've heard, was the wording about Augustus, um, who was son of the divine, sorry, Tiberius, son of the divine Augustus, saying that the emperor was the son of God. What we don't read in the Gospel is that on the other side of that coin was an image of the high priest of Jupiter. And so the coin actually was um, blasphemous in two ways in that it called the Emperor the Son of God and it also had the priest on it. And so Jesus didn't have one in his pocket. He wouldn't carry that coinage because it was blasphemous. But his instruction is to pay to Caesar what belongs to Caesar. And obviously that coin was one of Caesar's coins. It belonged, it was part of the empire. If you were in the empire, you had to give the empire your dues but we're also part of God's empire, part of God's country, and we look to God and we need to give to God what is his due. And his due, of course, doesn't come in the form of money, but comes in the form of our service and our love. And so we give to God what he deserves and wants, and we give to our country what it deserves and needs. And both are important. 
And Jesus doesn't say, no, ignore the country. No, don't pay your dues. No, this is an oppressive regime. You shouldn't be paying your taxes. He doesn't tell us to do that. He tells us to respect the authority, but to make sure we will respect God even more. So that if they are in conflict at any time, of course, then our conscience tells us to put God first, always. Let's make our profession of faith. Brothers and sisters, I ask you, do you believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth? I do. Do you believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. On the third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. Amen. Amen. Do you believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting? Amen. Amen. May Almighty God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, keep us by his grace, in Christ Jesus our Lord, for eternal life. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessedness of the Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, our Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and the glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Grant us, Lord, we pray, a sincere respect for your gifts, that through the purifying action of your grace, we may be cleansed by this very mysteries we serve through Christ our Lord. Today we're using the fourth Eucharistic prayer, so not the one on the double sheet, but the one that's printed on the word for today. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your heart. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right to give you thanks, truly just to give you glory, Father most holy, for you are the one God living and true existing before all ages and abiding for all eternity, dwelling in unapproachable light. Yet you who alone are good, the source of life, have made all that is, so that you might fill your creatures with blessings and bring joy to many of them by the glory of your light. And so in your presence are countless hosts of angels who serve you day and night, and gazing upon the glory of your face, glorify you without ceasing. With them, we too confess your name in exaltation, giving voice to every creature under heaven as we acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. We give you praise, Father most holy, for you are great, and you have fashioned all your works in wisdom and in love. You formed man in your own image, and entrusted the whole world to his care. 
so that in serving you alone, the Creator, he might have dominion over all creatures. And when, through disobedience, he lost your friendship, you did not abandon him to the domain of death, for you came in mercy to the aid of all, so that those who seek might find you. Time and again, you offered them covenants, and through the prophets, taught them to look forward to salvation. And you so loved the world, Father Most Holy, that in the fullness of time you sent your only begotten Son to be our Saviour. Made incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary, he shared our human nature in all things but sin. To the poor he proclaimed the good news of salvation, to prisoners freedom, and to the sorrowful of heart joy. To accomplish your plan, he gave himself up to death, and rising from the dead, he destroyed death and restored life. And that we might live no longer for ourselves, but for him who died and rose again for us, he sent the Holy Spirit from you, Father, as the first fruits for those who believe, so that bringing to perfection his work in the world, he might sanctify creation to the full. Therefore, O Lord, we pray, may this same Holy Spirit graciously sanctify these offerings, that they may become the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, for the celebration of this great mystery, which he himself left us as an eternal covenant. For when the hour had come for him to be glorified by you, Father Most Holy, having loved his own who were in the world, he loved them so much, and while they were at supper, he took bread, blessed and broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, Taking the chalice filled with the fruit of the vine, he gave thanks, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we now celebrate the memorial of our redemption, we remember Christ's death and his descent to the realm of the dead. We proclaim his resurrection and his ascension to your right hand. And as we await his coming in glory, we offer you his body and blood, a sacrifice acceptable to you which brings salvation to the whole world. Look, O Lord, upon the sacrifice which you yourself have provided for your church, and grant in your loving kindness to all who partake of this one bread and one chalice, that gathered into one body by the Holy Spirit, they may truly become a living sacrifice in Christ to the praise of your glory. Therefore, Lord, remember now all for whom we offer this sacrifice, especially your servant Francis, our Pope, Mark, our Bishop, the whole order of bishops, all the clergy, those who take part in this offering, those gathered here before you, your entire people, and all who seek you with a sincere heart. Remember also those who have died in the peace of your Christ, and all the dead whose faith you alone have known. To all of us, your children, grant, O merciful Father, that we may enter into a heavenly inheritance with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, and with your apostles and saints in your kingdom, there with the whole of creation, free from the corruption of sin and death, may we glorify you through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours for ever and ever. Amen. At the Saviour's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, 
our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign for ever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And with your Let us offer one another a sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord, I am not worthy really that you shed down under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. Amen. The blood of Christ.
Let us pray. Grant, O Lord, we pray, that benefiting from participation in heavenly things, we may be helped by what you give in this present age and prepared for the gifts that are eternal through Christ our Lord. Mm -hmm. uh, Chris said the food bank is starting up again next week, so if you like to bring things, we will obviously start our collection once again for the food bank in Mining Village. In the porch, you will also find little grey forms like this. They are for you to put on the names of people you would like remembered during Holy Souls Month, during November. So, any, And they then put them in the grey basket there in front of the altar, please. Um, obviously, if you want masses set for anyone, use the green envelopes, uh, like we always do. But if you just want the names remembered, uh, put them on a list, a little slip, and pop it in the grey basket. It'd be lovely if that could be done before uh, November begins. I shall take our basket to Helston. The All Souls Day Mass will be in Helston um, at 11 o'clock on the Monday. So we'll have our, those people to remember on All Day there as well. Uh, so I say it'd be good to have them in the basket by the 1st of November. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Mass is ended. Go and proclaim the Gospel of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Thank you.